and welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you my glowing, brightening skin routine. So what I do in the mornings to brighten my skin, give it that glowy kind of effect um, to the point where I don't have to wear foundation anymore. Um, yeah, so lately I've had a few people um, comment on my skin, say, you know, they've been, they've been saying it looks um, quite clear, it looks healthy, um, I look a bit younger, <clears throat> I even had a few kids at school, they've been like, miss, you must be 21, 22, I'm like, no, I wish I was 21, I wish I was 22, um, but yeah, they've been quite shocked when I've told them my real age, um, and yeah, their answer was, well, you must really take care of your skin, because you've got no lines, you've got no wrinkles, so, wow, miss, you look younger, you look way younger than we thought. Um, yeah, and I've had a few people, you know, including my husband, ask for some tips and advice on how to um, improve the skin. So I'll put that down to the routine that I've been using lately because before I felt like I had to wear foundation to feel comfortable. So when I'm out and about, when I go to work, so on, um, yeah, I just felt like I had to wear foundation as part of my daily routine. Uh, along with everything else, but now I feel comfortable enough to wear my own skin, no foundation. I wear eye makeup, so mascara, eyeliner, a bit of lip gloss. I do add a touch of bronzer um, and, and blush it to my cheeks, but that's about it. So, because of my skin routine, I feel a lot more confident. Um, I do use quite a fair amount of products so I'll be showing you in the video what it is exactly I use what order it is that I use them in and any other sort of you know beauty tools that I'll use as well to try and sort of brighten up my skin um, get the blood flowing and yeah just give me that kind of like glow I don't know if on camera you'll be able to really tell I mean the lighting in here is not that great because it's like you know getting closer to evening time now so daylight I've missed out on the daylight today so normally in the daylight you'll be able to really really tell um, but yeah um, I just feel like it's a lot clearer than it was sort of a year ago and I feel like it looks healthy and like I said I put it down to my skin routine so if you're interested in my skin care routine my morning glowing routine then please keep watching okay so it is Sunday morning so it's time for my morning skincare routine and I'm working towards brightening my skin um, so I'm gonna show you what products I'm gonna use and um, what kind of like little little tools that I'm also gonna use little methods to try and brighten my skin so my skin's a little bit oily um, because of my nighttime routine. So the products that I put on at night, normally when I wake up, I've got a layer of sort of like oil from the products, but also because of my natural oils and like dirt, obviously your, your skin cannot stay clean for like, you know, eight hours plus. So um, yeah, I am gonna put on a headband. Stop my hair from getting wet, stop me from getting products in my hairline as well because girl I can't be having any um like face mask and that stuck in my little in my in my baby hairs in my hairline doesn't that look cute so yeah I got these from boots um I think it's um sanctuary spa spa sanctuary um like as part of a set but yeah it's pretty useful when you're doing a proper skincare routine um, when you're wearing like a face mask and so on if you don't want to disturb your hair so the first thing that I'm going to use um, to sort of clear away all the excess oil from last night is the 3-in-1 Daily Detox of Vitamin C Facial Wash from Soap and Glory okay so this thing is kind of like a, a gel consistency and it's got like some tiny little pink beads in I think they're like for like exfoliating it says for super clean fresh and bright skin right is what we're looking for it's got vitamin C in it and it soothes cleans 
purifiers. I really like using this in the morning. Um, it makes my skin feel really fresh and um, I feel like the, the scent of it like really wakes me up. So yeah, I'm gonna go in with this for um, 60 seconds. I've got like a rule, um, but it's like roughly 60 seconds, counting in my head. Um, but I feel like products like this, when you use them on your face, it's no good just sort of like throwing it on, wash, 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 three seconds and then rinsing off. I feel like for them to actually really work, you've got to give them a bit of time. So 60 seconds or even 30 seconds is, is good. So, take just a nice amount of that. Form it up with some water. Um, go. It really foams up like soap, and you can feel the little beads like falling in your skin. It's, it's not harsh. It's just nice and refreshing. Really massage it in. The neck area, the eye area. Freshening up already. Okay, time to rinse. Okay, and each time I rinse, I like I like to rinse with warm water because warm keeps your pores open, and then if you use cold, that closes them. So just while I'm sort of in my skincare routine, using like exfoliators and cleansers and so on, I keep rinsing with warm water, and then when I'm done with that, I'll rinse with cold water. Next, I'm going to use an exfoliator. So the exfoliator I'm using at the moment is the Neutrogena Refreshingly Clear Daily Exfoliator. And it's got pink grapefruit and vitamin C, another favorite um, ingredient. So vitamin C in the um, facial wash and vitamin C in the exfoliator. And it purifies for clearer, radiant skin. Exactly what we're looking for. Um, I like to use this on a daily basis, basis. I don't find this too harsh at all. Um, obviously it depends on your skin type. I mean, I don't have sensitive skin, but yeah, I find using this every day is absolutely fine for me. Another one that I do like to use is St. Ives Apricot Scrub. I really, really like that for brightening skin, but this is something I picked up. This is the first sort of time I'm using this. Um, not the first, first time, but yeah, first time that I've purchased this and used this. So yeah, at the moment I'm getting on quite well with it. So I'm just going to take a bit of that. And you can feel the tiny, tiny little beads in this. And I'm just going to gently exfoliate for around 60 seconds. And I really concentrate on my um, blemish prone areas. I mean, at the moment... Um, because of the pandemic, having to wear masks so frequently, I feel like I do tend to get a couple of breakouts sort of like around this area. Um, so yeah, I feel like if I keep the skin as clean as possible by really focusing on it in my morning routine, then the masks shouldn't be too much of a problem. But yeah. Uh, any any other people struggling with with the masks and you know it affecting the skin because I have heard that quite a few people have had like breakout so if anyone's got any tips on how to avoid that then yeah just comment below let me know okay so time to rinse again warm water so fresh and so clean oh my gosh my sleeves are getting absolutely soaked because normally this part of my skincare routine I do do it in the shower but purely just to show everyone what I do I'm having to do it at the bathroom sink so yeah I'm getting water everywhere uh, next keep my face wet what I like to go in with now is my magnetone so this is a facial um, cleansing brush um, it's electronic, you hear it buzz. This is really, really good and I recommend this. I know that this is supposed to be kind of like a dupe for, um, I think it's called the Fario. Fario? Yes. Um, the Fario is like a, kind of like a round shape and it's got more of this sort of fine exfoliating area thing. But on this one you've got different sections. 
like depending on your skin type and obviously if you've got combination skin you use different parts for different areas of your skin I always use this one like yeah I think this is the most abrasive um, section um, but yeah I like to use this um, all over my face and I picked this up I think for about I'm sure it was 20 around 25 pounds um, because it was on offer but I'm pretty sure it is on offer like quite regularly you can get it from their website I'll put a link down below um, but I got this from um, Argos so I'll link that below also if I can find the link and the great thing about it is you can use it in the shower because um, it's completely waterproof obviously um, so yeah I like I also do this part of my routine in the shower as well so this is really good to use with a cleanser and you can either sort of apply the cleanser all over your face and then start to work with it or you can put the cleanser on that's what I like to do so the cleansers that I use I sort of normally pick between these two now this one is another soap and glory product this is the fab pore purifying foam cleanser and it has got capsule soothe technology and witch hazel in it so that makes your skin feel really 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 fresh um, so I like to use this in the mornings where I'm really tired maybe I could do with that extra sort of waking up if I had a bad night with baby maybe um, or you know sometimes it's even really good if you've got like a bit of a hangover um, get in the shower use this it wakes you up other one that I like to use is number seven radiant results purify purifying clay cleanser and it's for radiant and healthier looking shine free skin it's got vitamin C, E, and B5, and meadow sweet. So I'm gonna go with this one today, purely because this one's got the vitamin um, C in it, just like the Neutrogena and the Self and Glory face wash. So yeah, I'm gonna carry on the um, vitamin C hype and use this one. So I'm just gonna apply it to my cleansing brush. Now, obviously when you use cleansers, you don't have to use a cleansing brush, but out of preference, that's what I like for that extra um, sort of brightening feel that like refreshing cleaning cleansing feel whatever so yeah um, I like to use a brush or oh, there's other brushes out there that you can use as manual ones electronic ones whatever is your preference but I like this one so yeah I have applied some cleanser um, turn it on now this has different speeds so I think it has got like around six so you just you, you press that um, up and then it gets faster and faster. I can hear it. Yeah, that's the fastest it goes. So I'm now gonna work the cleanser all over my face. feel like this gives you that extra glow because it's like a deep exfoliator with your cleanser and it really just massages the skin gets the blood flowing and I can already see like it looks a little bit red and I've got some red areas that's just like the blood sort of coming to the surface uh, and that's how you get your healthy glow so yeah I like to carry on this for about a minute sometimes I go a bit longer when I'm in the shower I've got like the water splashing at me so it kind of like gets rid of the cleanser a bit quicker whereas doing it at the sink is yeah different it's making the cleanser last a lot longer So yeah, my face is getting red now, and that's what we like, because that's the brightening. Okay, right, don't forget to rinse the cleanser brush, as well as your face. So again, rinsing with warm water, my favourite. Right literally feel like I have just had a facial massage oh it feels great 
So I'm just going to dry off with a face cloth. So I really feel like I've got a bit of a glow going on. Um, so once that's a nice and dry, ooh, my next step is to use a face mask. Now I know some people start off with a face mask mask first um so that's the start of the routine and then do all of that what i just did i think some people might but in fact that's actually what i used to do like i'd get up in the morning sometimes put a face mask straight on but now i feel like it's nice to get rid of the excess oils and you know have a really completely clean surface to apply a face mask to so i have like a, a couple of face masks um a few options i mean not just in, even in here like Elsewhere, I've got a few. I've got like a collection of masks. Um, I, you know, sort of choice that I choose from. Um, sometimes I use the um, Yes to Grapefruit Brightening, um, and that's with dull and uneven skin, and it's got vitamin C in it. Vitamin C Glow Boosting Unicorn Mud Mask. So this one is like an iridescent, um, just like the packaging. Um, it's really strange. Like when you put it on, it's like, looks like really shiny. Um, and this is kind of like a clay, like consistency. It dries and then you wash it off. Or I sometimes use a gel. Um, it's a jelly face mask. That's from We Are Kind Natured. Um, and this has got like tiny little exfoliating beads in it. So like when you come to a, washing it off, if you just like sort of work it in. Um, and this is another brightening one. Um, yeah, so I think that this is like a dupe for the, um, I think it's Pink Sands, Pink Sands or Australian Sands, something like that. And that comes in a tub um, and it's really expensive, maybe around £40, um, yeah, but this one I got from Superdrug recently um, and yeah, I thought I'd try that out because I just, I, I love face masks, like I'm always picking up face masks. Um, yeah, when I saw that it's just brightening and detoxifying, like in bold, okay, yeah, um, I thought I'd try this out, and I think it cost around, roughly like £5, it was on offer, I think maybe the original price is more sort of like 8 to £10, but you do get a lot, um, you got 125ml in there, I've used it a couple of times already, and there's just plenty left, um, so yeah, I thought I'd try this, and oh my god, like it is my new favourite facial um, skincare product at the moment. It's wow, my favourite face mask. I absolutely love it. Um, it's not one that you would use like every day um, because of the brightening uh, properties, um, you know, and the ingredients. I think that it's quite like it is a, a strong um, face facial skincare to use. Um, so yeah, it does say to you I mean just tell you on the box or two or three times a week yeah um and the reason being I'm guessing yeah it is quite harsh the first time I tried it on you do get a bit of a burning tingling sensation for the first few minutes and then it kind of relaxes and calms down now I know some people don't like using products like that if you've got really sensitive skin then I probably wouldn't recommend I mean if you wanted to try it then try it um, but I know that a lot of people you know with sensitive skin don't really appreciate things like that um, happening to the skin like a, a burning sensation um, but literally it lasts like a few seconds um, and I know it sounds weird, but I actually quite like that sensation because I really feel like it's all the you know the ingredients working, and I feel like for you to get brighter skin, you need the blood to sort of come to the surface. Um, I don't know, I'm not I'm not an expert on it, but that kind of makes sense to me. So yeah, it's got pink clay enriched with kakadu plum extract, aloe witch hazel, rosemary, and vitamins A, E, and C. My favourite to help tighten pores, detoxify and brighten in 15 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. And it's like a, a really pale, pale, pale sort of pinkish color. Um, yeah, and it's like a clay consistency. So I'm gonna apply this and I'm gonna let it do its magic for exactly the amount of time that it says on the tub. Mmm, it smells nice tiny tiny hint of like a fruity scent but also clay of course but yeah the consistency is really nice I've never tried the pink sands or Australian sands brand 
so I couldn't compare, like I wouldn't know, but I have read some reviews on this. I have seen some reviews and people have said that it is very close, if not the same. Um, and some have converted from paying so much for the more expensive version and they've converted to using this one because it's saving them money. So yeah, if you do use that other brand, then maybe you should try this one out and see. Because at the end of the day, if it's saving you money, it's saving you money. So, I'm going to leave that on. Wow, I look amazing, by the way. It's like a Snapchat filter. Um, yeah, so I'm going to leave that on now for 15 minutes. I'm going to go away. I'm going to get some stuff done, like iron my outfit ready for today. Uh, whatever else we need to do in. Stick some washing in. By then, 15 minutes will be up. And then I will be back. Okay, so I'm back now after 15 minutes. Um, the mask has all dried up. Um, it's like changed colour like in some of the areas. I think it might be still a little bit wet here. But yeah, it's like definitely dry there. Um, uh, yeah, and it feels like a really tight on my face. But it also feels like really cool. It's really weird. Like a sort of like fresh sort of feeling under there. So I'm excited to take it off. Um, so I'm just going to use like a a damp cloth because it can get quite messy taking it and I'm like splashing water everywhere so nice wow it just feels really fresh okay yeah. so I'm now going to go ahead and rinse with cold water so you know what I said before about the pores opening and closing so I'm done with like all the wet products now so I'm going to go ahead and rinse with cold water. Yeah. And. Oh, nice and dry. Right, so the next part of my routine, I like to go in with like a liquid cleanser and toner. And they're like two separate products. So I'm going to take a cotton pad. Um. And I'm going to use a cleanser that I absolutely love. Like, it's a recent one I've started using. I think it is a new mm, product. Um, but I've seen quite a lot of people use this, so it is very popular. It's the Garnier Skincare Micellar Rose Water Cleanse and Glow. So another um, skincare product that says glow on it. I think I'm literally collecting products that say glow or brighten. Um, yeah, so this is... Like, it's really good for, like, removing your makeup, but I like using it um, when I'm sort of prepping my face. So, you know, in my morning routine, um, purely because of the the glow um, properties. And also, I just feel like, no matter how much you're washing your face with these products and things, there are there is, like, some stubborn dirt that you do miss. So I just feel like this is the product that takes care of anything that is missed. So I'm just, I've just applied some to a cotton pad and I'm just going to dab around my face. Uh, but yeah, I picked that up from Boots while it's on offer. I think it was roughly around £5. Okay, so I'll get rid of that cotton pad. Now I'm going to go in with a toner. Now, this toner, to me, is amazing. Like, I absolutely love this toner. This is new to me, um, and I'm so glad that I discovered it. Um, I went into Boots and was looking particularly for a, um, a facial serum and a toner that would help brighten my skin. And I found this one from e.l.f. And this one is called a Super Tone. And it says gentle daily exfoliator with AHA and fruit acid that helps remove dead skin cells for a more radiant looking complexion. Yeah, um, I, I love this. It's amazing. I feel like it really works. I love the packaging. I love this colour. I love just, oh, it's gorgeous and um, I can't remember how much this actually retails at for full price but again this is something I, I got on offer. I'm, I'm just the offer queen. Everything I get is always on offer. Yes. Um, yeah so I think it was sort of around I think four pounds 
four pounds something that I paid for it and I found. I don't know whether it's more sort of roughly near the seven pounds area for price, but I'll have a look and I'll link it below anyway. Um, yeah. Now this is another one um, like the the clay mask. Um, again, it does have a bit of a stingy sort of sensation. So for sensitive skin, I. I'm not sure. I did read a few reviews on this and people with sensitive skin were complaining about it, saying that it burns. Um, now, I mean, it has got fruit acid in it that is going to be quite, um, yeah, it will burn. And I think it does say something about not using it with other, other products that have um, acids in. Um, but yeah, you've got to be careful. If you're sensitive, then I would sort of test it on a small area first to see, um, you know, how you react. Because if you don't like that kind of sensation, then maybe it's not for you. But yeah, so I'll just, I've just applied some to a cotton pad. I like to use this all over my face. I like the sensation. Um, yeah, but because I'm just a freak like that. I love the burning sensation on my face. I just feel like it works. And I'm just going to dab, 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 dab. Oh. That did sting a little bit there. And we're done with that. I'm gonna get rid of the cotton pad. Nice and fresh. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with a face serum, and the face serum that I'm using is Nip and Fab, and that is Illuminate. So Nip and Fab Illuminate Vitamin C Serum Fix. I normally use, um, I think it might be Dragon's Blood um, Plumping Effect Serum from Nip and Fab, and I must say I do kind of prefer that one. I feel like when I put that on, I really do feel like a change. This one, not so much, but because it's got vitamin C, I thought it goes in with the whole brightening um, collection. So I thought I'd try this one out. It's nice, but um, yeah, I don't think it beats the Dragon Bloods one. So I'm just going to apply a couple of pumps, okay? And with this, I'm just going to press this into my skin rather than rub it in. Um, it really absorbs very, very quickly, um, which is a good thing. So it doesn't leave your skin feeling sticky or greasy. And I'll just press it in and let my skin just drink that up. It just feels great. Cool. Because sometimes I feel like some products need to be sort of pressed into your skin rather than um, massage. Because I feel like you're just massaging it onto the surface. There you go. And literally within seconds, that is going to like just sort of absorb up and it's no longer wet. Yeah. Next is so we're almost done next is um moisturizer and i do have a choice of moisturizers to use i do use two together i use like one, um, a normal sort of um moisturizer um, to moisturize my skin and then i like to put like a brightening one on top or like a illuminating kind of um ingredient um so I normally choose between these two as my main moisturiser. So this is the Vitamin C moisturiser from um, Boots. Um, so it's Boots' own brand. This is like just amazing. I'm pretty sure that it is £4. Um, it's always £4. Um, full price. And it is the Brightening Moisturising Cream. And it smells like oranges. Um, and it's like a yellowy kind of um, colour. And it's a really nice consistency. It's not really, really thick and rich. I mean, it is a, like a cream, but it's like, yeah, it's, it's, it's just nice. I feel like it would suit like a range of um, skin types. Then my other choice is the Sanctuary Spa. This is the Supercharged Hyaluronic Face and Neck Cream. Now, this is a lot more rich than the Vitamin C Cream. Um, oh, it smells amazing. It smells like a spa, like, wow. I absolutely love this cream. Um, there are mixed reviews on this. Like some people complain about the scent. They say that the scent is too strong. But me personally, like um, it, you know, when you go to a spa treatment place, like their treatments smell like very strong, amazing, and that's I just can envision being in a spa place having my face done. When I smell that, it's great. Um, yeah, 
So this is particularly good for like fine lines and wrinkles. Like that's why I purchased this. There was more information on the actual box that it comes in. I can't really see much on the tub. But yeah, I recommend this one if you're worried about like fine lines um, and you want your skin to be really, really moisturized. Um, and because with this, a little bit goes a long way. So I'm gonna use this one today, seeing as it's Sunday. And you know, Sundays are a pampering. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go in with this one. And I'm just gonna start off by pressing it in. Don't forget the neck. I think I, got, I forgot the neck area with my serum. But never mind. So I'm pressing in. Oh, it's so amazing. Okay, and then. Yeah, so I said that I like to use uh, two um, moisturizers. Um, so one for like the whole moisturizing effect and then another one I like to use for like um, a bit of a sparkle. Yeah, because the reason I'm so like I'm invested in the brightening skincare um, products and you know, getting this sort of glow is because I don't really tend to wear foundation much anymore. And I think because of like the lockdowns and the pandemic, I've just not felt the need to wear makeup as often, especially foundation. I mean, some days I might wear concealer and you know, just a, a dab of concealer and just a few um, small um, touch ups on my face, like my eyebrows and and lip gloss and mascara and yeah the whole foundation thing I've kind of like I don't really include it anymore and um, I think the last time that I wore it was sort of like early August for my birthday I went out for my birthday and we're in October now like the start of October so yeah I just don't I mean even for work especially because I'm wearing a mask and things I just don't you're gonna get like a line and and whatever like no matter what setting spray you use it's, it's just gonna mess up the foundation so I just try and do without so I feel like having a you know a, a natural glow to your skin is gonna um, do you a favor and you won't have to wear foundation um, so yeah this um, moisturizer that I like to add um, to my routine oh, this is beautiful this is another product from elf it's the illuminating moisturizer SP uh, F 15 and it's got citrus extract and grapeseed oil this is just so lovely I just I picked this up by chance I think the same time that I bought the toner again I'll link it below again it was on offer like I said offer queen so I, I like to add this before I was using the glam glow and I mean I still will use glam glow I've never Oh, I've never smelled a, a moisturiser like this one before. This is amazing. Um, I remember first trying this in um, Miami. I got it from, oh, what's a really famous store that they have? Sephora. Yeah, um, so I got it from Sephora and I tried it and I was like, oh my gosh, it's beautiful. It gives you like a nice sort of glow. It's really, really good as a makeup primer as well. But seeing as I'm not really into the makeup so much right now, I thought I kind of push that aside and save it for later. Um, so it's the best because that is pricey. I think it's like it retails at about thirty-six pounds a tub. Um, so yeah, whereas this one is, it's less than ten pounds definitely. So I'm just gonna take a a pump of that, and it is like a sort of nude kind of color, and it has like a sort of shimmer in it. So I'm gonna. work that in and this is what gives me the confidence to not really wear foundation I feel like I've just got like a nice like sort of sheen to my face now to top it off I'm gonna use this beautiful tool from the body shop um, I don't know if you can get these from other places, but it's just a facial roller. Um, I know though, I mean, you can get things like, uh, I think it's called a jade roller, which is like a smooth marble. So if you don't want like a bumpy kind of thing on your skin. Now I think the whole point of this to do is like to, to sort of stress your skin out. Um, so when you rub it over your surface, you've got to put a little bit of pressure on and it does bring the blood to the surface. Um, so I like to use this once I've put my moisturiser on to kind of tap it off with that glow. So I'm just going to work this all over. Now it's up to obviously whoever's using it how 
much pressure you put on now you don't put too much pressure on but you can just get like that perfect level of pressure and just massage the skin and you can see my skin's turning kind of pinkish red that will like last only a couple of seconds it will go down and I'll just all over my face it's all about getting that blood rush to your surface don't forget the lip area the mouth area perfect now what I like to finish off with is a tanning spritz and this one is from Superdrug, it's from the brand Soleil, so Superdrug's Super Drug's own brand and it's the Tanning Facial Spritz. This is nice, I bought it because I ran out of the Saint Tropez um, version and this one's like £22 or £20 for a bottle. I thought maybe there's a slightly cheaper version because like if you're using that like every day, yeah it runs out quite quick. So um, I picked this one up from Superdrug, um, I think it was like £4. Um, again, I'll find out and I'll link it below. And um, the nozzle spray on this isn't as great as the Saint Tropez one, but I suppose I could always swap the bottle. So it comes out a little bit sort of more like the, the droplets are like heavier, whereas in the Saint Tropez it is like a really fine mist. Um, but this I feel works better than the Saint Tropez. With the Saint Tropez, that smells a little bit like fake tan, and you do notice it. And, and I have like sort of gone wrong with it in some areas where you know it's like a bit patchy, whereas this. It just like literally just a, a natural glow and that's all I'm looking for like I don't want a proper proper tan but just like a, a little glow it doesn't smell like fake tan at all so I'm just gonna slightly spritz that over my face to finish off my skincare routine and because we can't leave the lips out I'm gonna apply a lip balm hydrate my lips this is the one that I use all the time, Nivea, um, but I just picked this up yesterday, it's an EOS um, a lip balm, I haven't had one of these for years, but I picked one of these up from Home Bargain yesterday on a trip, um, and this is like the, the rose, um, rose lip balm, I think it's meant to have a slight tint to it, but it doesn't look like it will. And we're done. So that was my morning glowing, brightening skin routine, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm sure the title of the video is glowing skin brightening routine. Yeah, so that was um, my skin routine. Now, of course, it was quite long and there was quite a few things that were included in that routine. So I actually cannot manage to do that every single morning. And you wouldn't really need to do it every single morning. Um, but I try to do that exact routine around three times a week. Twice is like a good number. Two times um, a week is a good number. But of course, I cut things out like the mask and the... Um, I don't use the roller every single day. Um, and what else do I cut out? I might cut out um, the the spray at the end. Um, there's a couple of things that I do. I do tend to miss out like especially when I've got work so um, unless you get up really really early and you've got plenty of time in the morning unlike me I'm not a morning person really um when it comes to work so I don't have that much time to get ready so what I'll do is I'll include like the the important ones like the main ones like the exfoliating for example and then toning I do that every day um I use a toner um I use a serum every day and I use a moisturizer of course every day uh, yeah, so to kind of like try and maintain the glow, but you don't need to complete that whole routine every single day Because I'm sure you'd be having like brand new skin if you did So if you can afford to do that, if you've got like that time, then go ahead You know, because self-care, girl, everybody got to be fitting in that self-care So yeah, I try and fit it in like two, three times a week Three times on a good week um, as part of my routine and I feel like it really really works for me so I'm happy with how my skin's looking these days I'm gonna continue using those products um, so if you like the video if you like the skincare routine 
then please give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel um if you know comment below if you like the video if you feel like there's something you know any tips that you want to give me um yeah and of course i'm going to link all the products that i use below so if you're interested in purchasing them then of course i'll link them below where you can get them from and obviously how the correct prices because sometimes i'm not quite sure but i'll find out the correct prices for products and link them below so don't forget thumbs up like subscribe comment and don't forget to check out my other videos as well thanks for watching and i'll see you later